Let's talk money on cruise ships. One thing I like about cruising itself is that on the ship, it's a cashless society. There's only a few places that will accept cash. So that's at the casino. And then at the end of the cruise, you might want to tip somebody cash or some people tip them throughout. When people ask me if like we're going to a whole bunch of different countries on an itinerary and should I get money ahead of time? My first answer is usually bring US dollars because pretty much everybody takes US dollars. I'm trying to think of who doesn't take US dollars. There's an exception like when we cross the border from Chile into Argentina, we had to have the local currency. That's the only time I could think of a situation where US dollars weren't accepted. Most taxis are gonna take US dollars. What's nice is the cruise ships will quite often have some currency ahead of time on the cruise ship and you can exchange your money at guest services for whatever local currency is you're going to need for that day or the following day. I want to tell you one thing. People might be wondering what's going to happen with the US dollar, what's going to happen with the Canadian dollar. I don't know, but let me tell you this. Out of all the countries I've traveled in the world, and right now it's been 56, everybody was willing to take a US. In fact, they were very happy to receive a US dollar. Okay, now I can't say the same about a Canadian dollar or a Canadian loonie. For those of you who are watching that are not Canadian, loonie is the Canadian dollar, although it's a coin and there's a loon on it and the loon is a bird and they just called it a loonie from day one. So yeah, there's a lot of Canadian loonies out there. That's a whole nother video. I'm going to do a special video on the blue dollar, which is an informal term for what's going on with the currency in Argentina right now. So that's a whole separate topic. If you're not traveling to South America or Argentina in particular, it's probably not going to appeal to you. But if you are going that way, you definitely want to watch that video. Okay. Do you need money on the ship? You don't really need money on the ship. It's a cashless society on the ship. However, if you don't have a valid credit card, I think that the cruise ship might require you to leave a deposit with them when you get there like I don't know $700 or whatever it is I have no idea but generally before you board you have to give them a credit card and then they may put a hold on your credit card for a certain amount of money that they expect somebody may spend on a cruise and then this is your folio account and everything gets billed to your credit card or stateroom as you sail around so I'm gonna give you some examples tips. Some cruise lines tips are included like on some of the luxury lines but on the big mass market cruise lines tips are extra and usually you pay them on the ship. You could prepay them but I don't get the point of that. I'd rather hold on to my money than give it to a cruise line ahead of time but that's up to you. You might be charged 14 to 20 dollars a day for tips and these tips are dispersed amongst different areas of the crew and um, that's a whole nother video. This isn't a tipping video. Another charge that you might see is if you book a shore excursion on the cruise ship, that's going to get billed to your room. If you book a spa treatment, that will be billed to your room. Some alcoholic beverages, if you don't have a package, that will also be billed. So you could see it could add up, oh, your trips to the casino, that's a big one. And then the gift shops and the specialty restaurants. There's things you could buy on board, like you could go to the gift shop and buy souvenirs or clothes or... SD cards for your camera. And then there's a photography area, so you might want to buy some photos of the cruise ship or photos of you on the cruise ship. So that kind of thing's going on. Anyway, your bill could really rack up, but you just swipe your card or your medallion. You just swipe your medallion or you don't even have to swipe it. Sometimes they just know who you are by how close you are to the machine. You settle your bill. Well, you don't even have to settle your bill. They you can check in daily if you want or you could check in on your tv or print a report somewhere but it will show you your ongoing balance throughout the cruise or you can wait till that last night and get your shock then but um you don't usually have to do anything just bills your credit card if you agree with it you just walk off the ship it's nice you don't have to carry money around on the ship and you don't have to wor worry about losing your wallet or anything okay hope this helps please let me know if it did all right and if you want to learn more about cruising and see cruise ships and that kind of thing, 
Please subscribe to the channel, Cruise and Jewels. Hope to see you around. Thank you. Have a good day.